Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Are we alone in the universe? This question takes a dramatic turn as NASA reveals a game-changing discovery on Mars. The red planet has long captivated our imagination and with each passing year. Join us as we explore the latest Martian discoveries, exploring the planet's geology, potential for life, and its role in our understanding of the solar system. Water evidence. Discovery of ancient rivers. The quest for liquid water on Mars has been a journey spanning over 15 years, yielding compelling evidence of its presence in the planet's history. Mars, once a warmer, wetter world, hosted rivers and oceans billions of years ago, potentially fostering conditions suitable for microbial life. However, the planet's smaller size, weaker gravity, and thinner atmosphere facilitated the gradual loss of liquid water into space over time. Recent discoveries, such as recurring slope lineae, initially suggested the seasonal flow of salty water on steep slopes, sparking excitement about potential ongoing drainage systems. Yet, debates persist, with some proposing alternative explanations like granular flows. Regardless, the tantalizing evidence underscores Mars's complex geological and hydrological history, challenging our understanding of its past and present environments. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the Red Planet, each discovery brings us closer to comprehending its dynamic evolution and potential for harboring life. Regolith Composition – Characterizing Martian Soil Producing a fertile substrate for growing edible plants during prolonged human missions to the Red Planet is a paramount challenge. By enriching Martian regolith with compost derived from recycled crew waste, researchers aim to enhance crew autonomy and survival in space. This study investigates the geochemical and mineralogical composition of MMS-1 Mars simulant and assesses mixtures of MMS-1 and green compost at varying ratios. Results demonstrate the potential of these mixtures for lettuce cultivation, with certain ratios showing superior plant growth. However, challenges remain, including ensuring sustainable production of compost and its consistent supply during long-term missions. Despite these hurdles, the findings offer promising insights into the feasibility of space agriculture utilizing local resources. Methane spikes. Hint at possible life. The quest for life on Mars has captivated scientists for decades. Despite only one direct search for life with the Viking probes in 1976 yielding inconclusive results, subsequent missions have focused on assessing the planet's habitability and searching for indirect signs of life. Methane, detected by NASA's telescopes and the European Space Agency's Mars Express probe, has sparked significant interest due to its potential biological origin. However, the presence of methane alone does not confirm life as it can also arise from geological processes. Recent observations by the Curiosity rover revealed sporadic spikes in methane levels, suggesting episodic production from an unknown source. Additionally, seasonal variations and the rapid disappearance of methane perplex scientists challenging conventional atmospheric models. Researchers speculate that methane may be sequestered near the surface, awaiting release under certain conditions. While the search for Martian methane continues, it remains a tantalizing clue in the ongoing quest to uncover the mysteries of our neighboring planet. Perchlorates, potential resource for future missions. Perchlorate, found abundantly in Martian soils at concentrations of 0.5% to 1%, presents both opportunities and risks for future missions. While it holds promise as a potential oxygen source, it also poses significant chemical hazards to astronauts. This discourse examines the multifaceted implications of perchlorate on Mars and proposes a novel biochemical strategy for its removal from the soil. Its prevalence across Martian terrain hints at possibilities for microbial life, yet its toxicity threatens human explorers. Detected initially by NASA's Phoenix lander in 2008 and observed by earlier missions like the Viking Mars landers and subsequent rovers, perchlorate's reactivity and toxicity present formidable challenges. Despite its potential as a resource, its dangers necessitate comprehensive mitigation strategies for human settlement on Mars. Furthermore, 
perchlorate's impact on Martian hydrology could influence surface features and exploration efforts. While promising for oxygen production and understanding Martian life, perchlorates complicate the search for organics and highlight the hurdles of Mars habitation. As research progresses, understanding perchlorates' dual role remains crucial for future missions and scientific inquiry. Ancient Lakes – Clues to Mars's Wet Past An international team of scientists has confirmed that the Jezero Crater on Mars not only contains a river delta, but also a dried lake bed. Utilizing radar technology, researchers remotely explored the crater's depths, uncovering layers of sediments deposited by a once-flowing river, resembling Earth's delta formations. This discovery suggests that billions of years ago, a river flowed into Jezero, forming a lake. Variations in the layers hint at climate shifts on Mars over time. The presence of such features raises the intriguing possibility of past habitability on the Red Planet. With the Perseverance rover situated in the heart of this ancient lake bed, the search for clues to Mars's history and potential past life forms is more promising than ever. These findings reinforce the idea that Mars, once warm and wet, might have harbored conditions conducive to life, highlighting the significance of understanding its ancient environments. Evidence of Volcanic Activity – Mars' Geologic History Volcanic activity has been pivotal in shaping Mars's geological history, with evidence dating back to the Mariner 9 mission in 1972. The planet boasts extensive lava flows, vast plains, and the largest volcanoes in the solar system. Ranging from over 3.7 billion years to less than 500 million years old, Martian volcanic features signify continuous activity. Some speculate Mars remains volcanically active today. Similar to Earth in composition, Mars exhibits comparable magmatic processes and geological features. Recently, scientists discovered evidence of thousands of super-eruptions in the Arabia Terra region, occurring over 500 million years about 4 billion years ago. These cataclysmic events released massive amounts of dust and gases, altering Mars's climate. The identification of calderas in Arabia Terra suggests the region once harbored super-eruptive volcanoes, challenging previous interpretations. The concentration of such volcanoes in specific regions raises questions about planetary geology and comparative planetary processes, offering insights into the formation and evolution of celestial bodies. Polar Ice Caps – Compositional Analysis Mars, like Earth, exhibits polar regions characterized by cold temperatures and icy landscapes, peppered with craters formed by meteor impacts akin to those on Earth's moon. Scientists from Purdue University's EAPS leverage radar data from Mars orbiting spacecraft to unveil these icy time capsule secrets. Mars has two polar ice caps. One is mainly water ice, and the other also has a layer of frozen carbon dioxide in winter. In winter, darkness at the poles leads to 25 to 30% of the atmosphere depositing as CO2 ice, which then sublimes in sunlight. Seasonal frosting near the southern cap forms dry ice slabs that rupture into geyser-like eruptions when spring arrives. Italian scientists discovered a subglacial lake beneath the southern polar layer deposits in 2018, while changes in spacecraft orbits revealed significant carbon dioxide freezing during Martian winters. Layered features and grooves on the polar caps, influenced by dust and wind patterns, offer insights into Mars's climatic history. The Jurong rover's findings of dunes in Utopia Planitia hint at wind shifts correlating with changes in the northern ice caps layers. In summary, Mars's polar regions provide valuable clues to its past climate and geological processes. Gale Crater – Exploration of a Martian Geological Landmark NASA's Curiosity rover landed on Mars in 2012 to explore Gale Crater, a massive impact basin housing a towering layered mountain. The crater, named after Australian astronomer Walter Frederick Gale, spans 154 kilometers in diameter and is estimated to be around 3.5 to 3.8 billion years old. Mount Sharp, rising 5.5 kilometers high in the crater's center, dominates the landscape. Aeolus Palace, a plain between Gale's northern wall and Aeolus Mons's foothills, features Peace Vallis, an outflow channel likely carved by flowing water. Around 3.7 billion years ago, a meteor impact formed Gale Crater, creating conditions conducive to water accumulation. As Mars dried, sedimentation continued, burying the aqueous deposits. Wind erosion eventually exposed these layers, revealing clues about Mars's wetter past and the potential for microbial life. Curiosity's findings suggest Gale Crater may have harbored hospitable conditions for life to thrive. Sedimentary Rock Layers – Unraveling Martian History 
The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured an image revealing intricate, layered sedimentary rocks within an impact crater north of Eberswalde Crater. This site, once considered for the Mars Science Laboratory's landing, suggests a past lake formation billions of years ago. Sedimentary rocks on Mars, formed by wind or water, offer promising locations like Eberswalde Crater to search for evidence of ancient microbial life. Another image from the Higher Rice camera showcases fractured sedimentary rock within Danielson Crater, indicating Mars's dynamic past. The fractures, layering, and terrace-like structures hint at a prolonged watery history in the region. Studying Martian sedimentary rocks provides insight into the planet's evolution over time. Initially seen as primarily volcanic, Mars's landscape now reveals evidence of extensive water interactions, reshaping our understanding of its past. Rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance further explore Mars's rich history, highlighting weathering and water-driven surface transformations. Sand dunes, shaping Mars's surface. A recent discovery by planetary scientists unveils a remarkable sight, perfectly circular sand dunes on Mars's surface. While the planet boasts sand dunes of various shapes and sizes, such precise circles are a rarity. These dunes exhibit a slight imbalance, with their steeper sides facing southward. This suggests a consistent southward drift of sands, although Martian winds might fluctuate. Captured on November 22, 2022, at coordinates 42.505 degrees latitude and 67.076 degrees longitude, the image originates from the High Resolution Imaging Experiment Camera, managed by the University of Arizona. This camera, aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, continues to unveil Mars's mysteries. Previously, high-rise documented diverse dunes, shedding light on Martian weather patterns. Even after the MRO's primary mission ended on December 21, 2010, its legacy endures, showcasing the enduring scientific contributions of both spacecraft and cameras. Opportunity Rover – Discoveries in the Martian Desert In an endeavor echoing Martian conditions, a self-guided rover equipped with a robotic drill ventured into the Atacama Desert, simulating Mars's terrain. The mission aimed to extract sediment samples from depths of 80 centimeters, a feat deemed vital for future Mars expeditions. Spearheaded by Professor Stephen B. Pointing, the trial mission bore fruit as it unearthed subsurface organisms, thriving in the desert's Mars-like environment. These resilient microbes, resilient to salt and scattered across patches, offer insights into potential Martian life lurking beneath the surface. Frontiers in microbiology highlights Mars exploration's importance, pointing stresses, trial relevance as NASA and ESA gear up for 2020 rover missions. By meticulously testing the technology on Earth, like the rover and drill deployed in the Atacama, scientists aim to fine-tune exploration strategies for Mars, where clues to microbial life may lie buried beneath the harsh surface conditions. Ancient shorelines, indications of past oceans. Cardenas reveals long-standing debate over Mars's ancient ocean. New evidence, using topography data, confirms a 3.5 billion-year-old shoreline with thick sedimentary deposits covering vast areas. Analyzing NASA and USGS data, researchers identified 6,500 kilometers of ridges, likely remnants of eroded river deltas. Mars likely had warm, wet conditions around 4 billion years ago, with a vast ocean in its northern hemisphere. Rock formation studies, including ridge thicknesses and flow directions, shed light on past geography. Aeolus dorsa, once submerged, now hosts Mars's densest ridges. Cardenas suggests investigating such regions for evidence of ancient Martian life. Recent research in the Journal of Geophysical Research. Planets reaffirms Mars's ancient ocean based on sediment evidence. Seasonal changes, dynamic Martian environment. Mars boasts an atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon, with a thinness over 100 times that of Earth's. Dust particles from the surface give Mars its distinctive rusty tan skies. While water exists on Mars, its thin atmosphere prevents long-term surface liquid water. Despite its thin atmosphere, Mars experiences dynamic weather, including dust storms and occasional snow. Early in its history, Mars had a thicker atmosphere, allowing for liquid water as evidenced by ancient floods. Presently, Mars is significantly colder than Earth due to its distance from the Sun, with temperatures averaging around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Mars experiences four seasons, each lasting longer than on Earth due to its eccentric orbit. Seasons vary in intensity due to hemispheric tilt and proximity to the Sun, influencing atmospheric dynamics and weather patterns. Dust Devil Observation Atmospheric Phenomenon NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity 
has captured its first image of a dust devil, a notable achievement in its operational area. Despite six and a half years on Mars, Opportunity hadn't previously observed one, in contrast to its twin rover Spirit, which spotted many at its location on the other side of the planet. The image, taken on July 15th, shows a swirling column of dust captured during routine photography. Mark Lemon of Texas, A and M University, noted Opportunity's location in the Meridiani Planum region, where conditions are less conducive to dust devil formation than Spirit's rougher, dustier terrain in Gusev Crater. The increase in electricity output from Opportunity's solar array the day after the dust devil sighting suggests a potential link. The team is now conducting systematic checks for dust devils using Opportunity's navigation camera for the first time in three years. Gypsum deposits, indicators of past aqueous activity. The largest gypsum deposit on Mars, discovered by the Mars Express Omega spectrometer, is described as the late Amazonian-aged North Polar Dunes. This gypsum is exclusively found within the Olympia Unde Dune Sea and is associated with water channels from melting polar deposits. The gypsum formation is attributed to in situ alteration of dunes and evaporitic crystal formation in pore spaces. Unlike elsewhere on Mars, sulfate-forming events occurred later, during the Amazonian period. The discovery challenges Mars's aqueous alteration history, indicating unique conditions in the North Polar region. Gypsum, a hydrated calcium sulfate, typically forms in various environments on Earth, including evaporite assemblages and hydrothermal deposits, due to its susceptibility to physical weathering and alteration processes. This finding sheds light on Mars's geological diversity and the potential for past aqueous activity. Hematite concretions, geological marvels of Mars. The discovery of hematite spherules, often called Martian blueberries, on the surface of Mars by the Mars Exploration Rover, Opportunity, is a significant finding. These spheroids, ranging from 2 to 5 millimeters in size, in the Meridiani Planum region of Mars, they consist predominantly of hematite, with varying amounts of gothite, as determined by the Mössbauer spectrometer onboard Opportunity. Several hypotheses have been proposed regarding their formation, including sedimentary diagenesis, impact-related processes, volcanic activity, and groundwater dissolution and precipitation. Studying terrestrial analog sites, such as the diagenetic hematite concretions in the Duran sandstone of western India, provides valuable insights into the formation mechanisms of Martian hematite spherules. These terrestrial analogs share similarities in mineralogy, sedimentary settings, and depositional processes, contributing to our understanding of the Martian geological features. Mysterious methane plumes, unraveling their origins. The presence and concentration of methane in the Martian atmosphere are crucial for planetary scientists and exobiologists because it could signal present or past microbial life, or it could be linked to non-biological processes like volcanism or hydrothermal activity. Earth-based and orbital observations of Martian methane have been reported since 1999, sparking fascination among scientists and the public alike. On Earth, Methane is largely produced by microbial digestion in livestock. But since Mars lacks such animals, detecting methane there raises the possibility of microbial life. However, geological processes involving rocks, water, and heat can also generate methane. Scientists are puzzled by discrepancies in methane detection between instruments. NASA's Curiosity rover has detected methane near the surface of Gale Crater, while ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter has not detected methane higher in the Martian atmosphere. The trace gas orbiter's requirement for sunlight to detect methane complicates matters, as methane near the surface gets diluted into the broader atmosphere during the day, making it undetectable. Curiosity Rover Findings Exploration of Martian Terrain NASA's Perseverance rover has entered its second science campaign, examining rock compositions and gathering samples in an area highly anticipated by scientists for potential signs of ancient microbial life. Since July, the rover has acquired four rock cores from two locations within an ancient river delta in Mars's Jezero crater. Perseverance plays a crucial role in collecting samples for future missions to return to Earth, contributing to the Mars Sample Return Campaign, a collaborative effort led by NASA and ESA. The Martian terrain depicted in images captured by NASA's Imager for Mars Pathfinder reveals rocky landscapes and diverse soil hues. These images, taken on July 8, 1997, and Sol 4, showcase the rugged topography and suggest the presence of salts in the lighter soil areas. Mars Pathfinder, part of NASA's discovery program, aimed to explore Mars with cost-effective spacecraft focused on specific scientific objectives. 
Managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the mission provided valuable insights into Mars's geology and environment. Martian Meteorites – Insights into Martian Geology Martian meteorites are rocks from Mars, flung into space by impacts, landing on Earth as meteors. Shergadi and Governator Valadares are examples, formed from lava flows. Impact events launched these rocks from Mars, making them extraterrestrial treasures on Earth. Despite over 72,000 meteorites known, only 277 are Martian, less than half a percent. The Taudeni 002, found in Mali in 2021, weighs 14.5 kilograms and is displayed at the main mineral and gem museum. Martian meteorites fall into three groups, Shergatites, Naklites, and Chassanites. They match Mars's rocks and atmosphere, verified by spacecraft data. Notable is the Shergatite, fallen in India in 1865, and identified as Martian in the 1980s. Researchers at Caltech and JPL simulate Martian rock ejections. Maskelinite, a glassy material formed under high pressure, reveals insights into Martian impacts. Recent findings suggest lower ejection pressures than previously believed. Curiosity Rover – Uncovering Ancient Habitability NASA's Curiosity Rover has unearthed fresh evidence on Mars, suggesting the planet might have harbored ancient life and providing insights into the quest for present-day life. Though not direct proof of life, these findings bode well for future missions probing Mars. As Curiosity ascends a layered Martian mountain, it discovers more clues indicating the planet's past habitability, potentially suitable for microbial life eons ago. Drilling into rocks along its journey reveals diverse minerals and textures, shedding light on ancient groundwater interactions. Since water is crucial for life, its past presence hints at potential Martian habitability. Curiosity's discoveries include tough organic molecules in sedimentary rocks and seasonal methane variations in the atmosphere, detailed in the June 8th edition of Science. While organic molecules may arise from non-biological processes, they offer chemical insights into Martian conditions. Despite Mars's current inhospitability, evidence suggests a water-rich past, fostering hope for future missions to unveil more Martian mysteries. The implications of NASA's Martian discovery are far-reaching, impacting our understanding of everything from the history of our solar system to the potential for life beyond Earth. This is just the beginning. Let the debate, the exploration, and the dream of reaching Mars continue. Don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing updates. Until next time, keep looking up.